giving these girls 20 minutes to come up with two pens out of all these pallets. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Nasty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we're going sideways. Whoa, whoa. Let us be safe on the drive. Thank you for us being on it. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's go.
Thank you very much, Rough Country. Well, after we got the Jeep fixed, um, the snow started melting a little bit and we were able to go in and get the Lexus unstuck, which is amazing. But it took all day to get it unstuck. It was so bad. We were in, we had to drive through the creek. Well, I mean the river, the very fast high flowing river. It was like up It was the to, deepest it's ever been. Yeah. We went out there to get the vehicle. We didn't bring no water, nothing to eat. And we went out there thinking we're just gonna drive out there and get the Lexus, but there's still- We figured the snow would be gone. We were there outside. all day starving. Yeah. Luckily, we uh, still had canned Can goods and <laughs> survival food at the cabin that the kids broke into and yeah. got to eat most of them anyway. But um, we yeah, finally we got were, it out. That's we what were. we're driving right now is the Lexus pulling a livestock trailer. Is that awesome or what? Because the Lexus is equipped with a V8 powerhouse. Yeah. yeah and we borrowed a livestock trailer from friends of ours, off grid friends of ours. <laughs> yep, maybe we'll give you a tour of their off grid property one day. There's some true off gridders. Yeah. Like set up nicely. Yeah, they have an awesome Unlike Wayward. So on our fencing stuff, we just had to, uh, we're waiting for my tractor. Our tractor we thought would be out of our property by May 1st. Because a couple months ago, we put a deposit down on these livestock. <laughs> we put a deposit down a couple months ago. We have till May 1st to get them out. And I was thinking at the time that we had plenty of time to get fence up and everything done. Well, we had a huge winter and our tractor is still stuck at the off-grid property. So I cannot auger any holes out for fence posts. It's pretty rocky underneath there, so doing it by hand wasn't working out too good. I had the kids go out there and uh, form some uh, livestock pens out of pallets. These pallets are huge. So the kids had fun making livestock forts. And so that's what we did for temporarily, because we're actually able to move it. We can lift it up and slide it over, you know, to fresh grass every couple days or something until we get this fence completely done, which should be within the next week or so. So I'm giving these girls 20 minutes to come up with two pens out of all these pallets. Go! I'm using my creative side. Look at this, look like four knots. Girls, tell everybody this is temporary. This is temporary. 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 That'll be good for a wind blocker.
Good job, Kirk Jack. So here it is. They got a roof over their head, a couple wind blocks. This is just for the lambs, right? Yeah. That's pretty big. It's pretty big. It'll work. Hopefully in two weeks we'll have the uh, everything else done. We have this other fence on the property, I think, that was there for probably 20, 30 years that needed fixing. So my wife and I decided last minute, we did this last night, to go out there and fix it up as good as we could get it. And um, I ditched you to go make it. She ditched me to go make cookies for our road trip, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> so we went ahead and fixed all that and was able to use my Jeep to tighten the fence up a little bit and add some cross supports, which really helped stiffen it up. But that's just temporarily until we get our paddocks done because we uh, are building some awesome paddocks to be able to put new livestock in. Then we're going to fence off a big portion of the property so they can leave once they get used to the place, we can let them out of the paddock and they can wander um, probably a good 15 acre pasture, I think, that we'll put them on. Awesome gas went down to 404. Thanks, Joe. We have probably That one was a little hardcore out there. Hey! Actually, I should probably stay in right here. Yeah, just hold your knee. Uh oh. Yeah, this whole unit. Uh oh. If you get in front like this, usually they go in. Sorry, I'm like holding back in touch. Oh, I just didn't want to make it. Oh, that's easy. Are you like... Yeah, she's got a football hold on her. You get a bunch of sheep with eggs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That, you count that again. Okay. Ten. It's at the What's in there, Kerchak? What's in there, boy?